Good morning and welcome to our Monday morning celebration of the Eucharist. It's a bright morning to start with. Let's just hope it might stay bright for the rest of the day. As we begin, we say our prayer for those who are suffering. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick and lift up all those who are brought low that we may find comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And also with you. And as we come together on this morning, on this bright sunny morning, we acknowledge there's things inside us, our minds and hearts that are not so sunny, that we get wrong. And we ask for God's mercy and forgiveness for all our mistakes, for all our sins. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly Father, Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver us all from our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We pray. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love, joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, I am about to deprive you suddenly of the delight of your eyes. But you are not to lament, not to weep, not to let your tears run down. Groan in silence. Do not go into mourning for the dead. Not your turban around your head. Put your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your beard. Do not eat common bread. I told this to the people in the morning, and my wife died in the evening. And the next morning I did as I had been ordered. The people then said to me, Are you not going to explain the meaning of these actions have for us? I replied, the word of the Lord has been addressed to me as follows. Say to the house of Israel, the Lord says this, I am about to profane my sanctuary, the pride of your strength, the delight of your eyes, the passion of your souls. Those of your sons and daughters whom you have left behind will fall by the sword. And you are to do as I have done. You must not cover your beards or eat common bread. You must keep your turbans on your heads and your sandals on your feet. You must not lament or weep. You shall waste away owing to your sins and groan among yourselves. Ezekiel is to be a sign for you. You are to do just as he has done. And when this happens, you will learn that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, you forget the God who fathered you. You forget, you forget the, the God, God that fathered, fathered you. you. 
You forget the rock who begot you, unmindful now of the God who fathered you. The Lord has seen this, and in his anger cast off his sons and his daughters. You forget, forget the, the God, God who fathered, fathered you. you. I shall hide my face from them, he says, and see what becomes of them. For they are dis a deceitful brood, children with no loyalty in them. You, you forget, forget the God who fathered, fathered you. you. They have roused me to jealousy with what is no good, with what is no God. They have angered me with their beings of nothing. I then will rouse them to jealousy with what is no people. I will anger them with an empty headed nation. You forget, you forget the, the God, God who fathered you. Alleluia, Alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God. Make me walk in your truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> there was a man. There was a man who came to Jesus and asked, Master, what good deed must I do to possess eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you ask me what? is good there is only there is one al there is one alone who is good but if you wish to enter into life keep the commandments he said which these jesus replied you must not kill you must not commit adultery you must not bring false witness honor your father and mother you must love your neighbor as yourself the young man said to him, I have kept all these. What more do I need to do? Jesus said, If you wish to be perfect, go and sell what you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven. Then come, follow me. But when the young man heard these words, he went away sad, for he was a man of great wealth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Our scriptures are there in front of us, Jesus being very clear. Though in Matthew's Gospel, in this translation especially, it's very quite, um, there's interesting little bits. Like the man asks, um, what must I do to possess eternal life? What good deed must I do? And Jesus' Jesus is reply, why do you ask me about what is good? It's, um, it's slightly changed from other Gospels. So we've got that question. And then Jesus um, saying, well, if you want to be perfect, then go and do this. the choices are ours aren't they we know when we get things wrong i think our, the richness of our faith and the richness of our um the, the richness the depth of richness that we've got allows us to think ponder reflect and correct ourselves with God's guidance so that we may take the right path, we may take the right choices. As we say many times, we make the mistakes, we turn back to God, repent, say sorry and try again. And the Lord's there every step of the way. So for today, find some time to reflect, 
find some time to pause and see if the Lord is challenging you as he's challenging me to change to alter my opinions to look at situations in a different fashion to look at people in a different way so that I become more like the Lord himself and not like the young man who goes away despondent sad because it's all too much it's not too much the Lord doesn't overburden us it's in our hands it's all we can do it with the help of the Lord guiding us all the way we place before the Lord all our prayers all our needs the needs of our family and friends the needs of our world the needs of um, organizations of governments and we pray for the welfare of all we ask you lord to be with all those who call out to you today whoever they may be wherever they may be and grant them what is needed lead them lead us all closer to you on our journey which we set out upon lord in your mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer help us lord to understand your call for each and every one of us help us let go of the things that are unimportant help us to focus more closely on your will Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Merciful God, healing God, be with those who are sick. Be with those who care for the sick. Be with those who are troubled in mind and heart today. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We place before the Lord those who have died, especially those known to us. May they rest with you, Lord, in heaven, and may one day we be reunited with them. We place also, Lord, into your hands those who are struggling with the loss of their loved ones, those who mourn those who feel deeply lost bring comfort lord and healing into their hearts help them know that their loved ones are safe lord in your mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer and in just a moment of silence we place our own thoughts and prayers before our lord and god merciful Lord accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son our Saviour Jesus, Jesus Christ the peace of the Lord be with you all and also with you peace be with you blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth is given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God forever and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice from your hands, hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good. good and the good of all his church.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who is sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh, as your Son born of the Virgin, of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms on the cross, he put an end to death by dying for us, and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with the angels and archangels and with the whole company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious deeds as uh, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power and, and might, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by your power, by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ who on the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He took the cup and gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once and for all for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking forward to his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share in this one bread, this one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, Saint John, our patron, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory belong to you, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. And at the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from unnecessary worry and distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. And we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though, Though we, we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us all to new and everlasting life. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us bring our prayers together. Let us pray. Holy Father, who gathered us here around at the table of your Son to share this meal with the whole household of God, in that new world where you reveal the fullness of your peace, gather people of every race and language to share in the eternal banquet of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And also with you. And may Almighty God bless you all and protect you all, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you have a good day. We'll see you again soon, I pray. Thank you.